What's going on guys, that's just Pure Pythons here. And this is my gold tegu in the bath. We're just doing a little bit of water taming. Um, he's crawled up to my hand quite a few times, trying to get out. And I raise my hand so he's out of the water for like 10 seconds. And then I put him back in. And then he did this and actually got out already. Once, but uh, I'll let him find my hand. What you want to do is associate your hand with their safety. And that's what they're going to do. He'll find your hand and he'll get on it and think he's safe. So, I'll let him swim over to my hand if he can. And he'll find it eventually. He's just, he's kind of weary of me right now. He doesn't trust me a lot at all yet, so. You want to make sure the tub is filled so they can't they can't uh, stand, so they're forced to swim. And when they get tired, they'll eventually either float like he's doing or come near hand, which I'm hoping he'll do. <clears throat> it took me about five ten minutes to get him out of his vivarium, but it wasn't too bad. I don't know what he's doing, he's like rolling his off balance a little bit. Come here, George. I'm gonna try to keep a flat hand so if he does bite you, it's not like he's grabbing a hold of a finger and tearing it up. Come here. Kinda like that. That's what you want right there. Lift him up. Not for like 10 seconds. He's out of the water. He's happy he's out. He's probably a little mad he was in it in the first place, but he is associating you with being safe. Put him back in. Sorry about that. This is my mom. Yeah. There we go. See, just like that. Just trying to get out and. But yeah. Oh, yeah, but guys, this is day two of teaming. He's licking his lips. He's really cute. Does a little bit of an underbite. I kept thinking it kind of adds character. You can see it right there. See, he's flicking his tongue, he's carrying, so that's good. I don't know why my camera's so blurry right now. There we go. Put him back down. Let him come to you. See? So he's grabbing onto me right there. He's trying to at least. There you go. So guys, it's pretty much water taming. Um, I'm going to do this for probably a couple weeks. Every day. Maybe for a half an hour. Uh, I've been doing this for about 15-20 minutes now. Something maybe that. Um... Hopefully I can have. I'm just huffing a little bit 
because I'm petting him. But hopefully I can have him as tame as an Argentine, and that would be awesome. But, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna take some work. It's not gonna be easy, but I'm willing to put in the work and the time and effort. I'm actually in the middle of building his 6x2x2, two two, so he doesn't have to be in that, uh, 45-gallon 45 45 uh, Starlight storage bin. Because that, that was only temporary, like I said. Yeah, I'm making the 6x2x2 uh, by two at, by two at a melamine. And the doors are going to be sliding. Glass doors about a um, quarter inch thick glass. It's probably going to start flipping out. And he's about to get out. Alright guys. Yeah, he had his little episode right there. He's probably going to have another one. He was relaxed for a little bit, so I can see why he did that. Um... Yeah, so if your Tegu does do that, just don't let him get out. And just keep, like, kind of helping him over out of the water and then put him back in. So did you, I don't know if you saw how I did that. It was kind of, it was kind of random. But, um, he was up here splashing, trying to get out. Put my hand there. He's over my hand, put him back in the water. <clears throat> He's probably not too happy with me right now, though. I can't see why not, <laughs> but um, you just gotta let him come to you, and that's it's water taming. I'm gonna be doing this every day though. I'll make a video. I'll try to do a video every day. See ya. See you guys.